people. Look, I was watching CNN News this morning before I went to work, right? And I seen they were talking about the PS3, PSN being hacked, right? And the guy came on here and said, it is Sony's fault for not putting money into the security of their network because they were too cheap to do it. And now, guess what? Are you ever going to get PSN back? What is it, two weeks now? First they lied to you and said it was under maintenance. Then they lied again because, from my understanding, they were hacked again about a week ago. They never let the cat out the bag until two days ago. Come on, listen. There ain't even no one defending Sony anymore. Even the staunchest Sony fanboys are accepting the fact that Sony done fucked up. What you need to do, Sony, because let's face reality, when is it going to get back up, this and that, who knows, and who cares at this point right now? What you need to do right now is come out, come out with some type of plan and say, look, give the PS3 users a, a, a choice. If they want to go out and buy another console so they can play online, give them a choice. Buy their PS3 back, whatever, so they can go out and purchase another backup plan so they can get online. Because a lot of people out there are waiting two weeks now. They want to play online, but they can't. They can't because of your negligence. Give them some type of benefit, backup plan saying you will buy the system back, whatever. Give them a choice here. There are many people out there that own a PS3 right now that want to play a game online, but they can't because of your cheapness and your negligence. Whatever. What are you going to do? When is it going to be back? Me, like I say, like I say, I'm doing this as a justice, as a service to the PS3 people out there that have a PS3 that want to play Call of Duty, want to play anything online right now, and they can't do it right now because of what you've done, your inability to secure your network. It is bullshit. Ain't no one defending Sony no more. Everybody knows you're done screwed up. You need to come out here and make it right with the people, the fans of yours, that want to jump ship now. Can drink of water now. If I wanted to play online right now and I didn't have a 360 in Sony system, I had the PS3 and the network was still down, you know what I would do? I'd take my ass to Best Buy, go buy an Xbox 360, and never look back. This is ridiculous now. First, you got hacked, but you didn't want to say nothing. You said you're under maintenance. And then you got hacked again a week ago, two weeks ago, whatever. A week, whatever. And you didn't even come out and say nothing about it. But it came out two days ago. You lied once, you lied twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So to the PS3 people out there, seriously. I, listen, all kidding aside, it's over. It's over. To the, all kidding aside, seriously. Don't even waste your time anymore with this. This is just ridiculous. Go out. I, listen, I ain't telling you to go out there and buy another console. I ain't telling you to buy a 360. I ain't telling you to buy a Wii. But what I would do, if you want to play online bad enough, wash your hands on the whole situation. Go out and get yourself another console, whatever. I understand a lot of people don't have the money to do this. That's why I say Sony should give you an ulterior plan where they will buy your system back off you in the meantime so you ain't got to wait for this bullshit. In the meantime, Sony should just say, screw it. You should, you should just discontinue the PS3 using that just a Blu-ray media player, whatever, and work on the PS4 and work on your online, strengthen up the infrastructure of your online for the future. Whatever. Maybe get a head start on Xbox this time for this generation, whatever. Maybe you'll have better fortunes. But after this, what transpired the last two and a half weeks, I don't think you'll ever recover in the video gaming industry. To be honest with you, me, I'm done with Sony products. I'm sorry. I'm sorry here. I am done. All kidding aside, listen, I ain't got nothing against Sony this now, but I'm done. I won't buy nothing from Sony again. I'm done. I buy a TV. I buy a stereo, whatever, but I, the gaming system, listen, I had it. It's enough. I'm done with it. I'll go with the 360. If the 360 breaks, I'll go get me another one. I don't even care at this juncture right now. Although, I will say this right now. All the skits I've been doing with my PS3, you know, throwing in the trash, this and that, I would not dare do that with that Xbox 360. I'll tell you that right now. The quality, the build quality of that PS3 is definitely better. No doubt about it. But that being said, that flimsy Xbox 360, I can play online right now with it. I can do a lot of things with it right now. So, and all in all, to the PS3 fans out there, enough is enough. You got to do something. You got to make a move. You can't just sit here and wait for Sony to lie to you again or whatever they're going to do. Because it's just ridiculous. You got to go out there and make your own decision. up. Because I don't know what the fuck they have in plan. I don't know what's in store for them right now. All I know is that in security, there's people out there that lost a lot of money over this. A lot of people been hit hard in the pocket right now. And on top of this, you got nothing to play.
I don't know. Yeah, I know, man. I'll be pissed. Turn it off.